Hello everybody, I am that YouTuber, and uh, I am doing another review. Not like my thoughts of review, but just a regular old review. Because I have not done a review in a while. One month ago. Yikes. I should have known where I was going with that, but still, yeah. Uh, I haven't done a review in a while, so I'm going to do one now with Trippendale Rescue Rangers. Because why the hell not? I mean... It did come out very recently, as in a month ago, very late to this party, but I don't care, I want to review this movie, it looks, I love it. So, Chippendale Rescue Rangers from 2022. This was definitely a spectacle of the time. It combined every animation style of ever made, 2D, 2D, 3D, 3D stop motion, puppetry, motion capture, into live action. In fact, I think this is a cartoon majority over human film. Very opposite to what, uh, the, uh, what was it, what was this, uh, Who Free Roger Rabbit or Space Jam, where there was humans majority over cartoons. With this film, it's the complete opposite. It goes 180. And it was also an extremely meta take on, uh, the Chip and Dale formula. When I, uh, when I saw this, uh, coming out before the trailers, I thought it was just gonna be a typical Rescue Rangers, uh, thing where they were, like, uh, haven't met, seen each other in a while, and then have to go back to get the one more case. But no, they do that, but it, the show is actually a show in this movie, and they're just actors. They, their chipmunks voice are their acting voices. And that is actually kind of refreshing, because I would have not been, ama been, been able to handle chipmunk voices for an hour, for 100 minutes. If I did, then I would probably destroy this movie. It would have, I would have given in lesser rating. But with that extra... A thing of them with the Chip and voices, it really makes it even all the funnier. So the plot follows Chip and Dale, 30 years after the show was cancelled. Uh, Dale is trying to relive the glory days after getting CGI surgery and trying to bring back the show. Uh, well, did I say Dale? Yeah, I did. And then Chip is not really the convenience, but when one of their friends goes missing, uh, they have to try and save him while also trying to solve the case of a bootlegging facility run by a guy named Sweet Peas, voiced by Will Arness. Oh yeah, the voice cast in this movie is also stacked. You got John Mulaney as Chip, Andy Samberg as Dale, Will Arness as Sweet Peas, Eric Bana as uh, Mondary Jack, Keegan-Michael Key as Bjornsson as this puppet-like character, Seth Rogen as Bob, not the Monster vs. Aliens Bob, but a uh, Viking Bob. J.K. Simmons as, like, cap uh, a putty police officer. And Kiki Lane as the only live-action character in this movie. Well, prominent one. Of course, the film, the first thing I have to talk about is the animation. It's incredible. It combines all these great styles into one, and it really works. Well, most of the time. Yeah, it's not the motion capture that freaks, that freaks me out, though. That is intentionally bad. It's the uncanny look of the 2D, 3D characters. The Rescue Rangers, apart from Dale, and Sweet Peas. They have this 2D, 3D style. They combine them both together, and it actually does work in some films, like in Klaus or uh, what, what, uh, Tom and Jerry the movie. But with this... Yeah, they try to put lines over it, but it doesn't really work as well. And I'm not going to talk that much about the cameos, because everyone has. They're great. I love them. Okay, Sonic didn't need to be in the film, but he is. And that's incredible. But the movie is also really funny as well, having a lot of meta humor in it. And it really works in some cases. Well, it didn't, make, well, it didn't have me slapping my knee all the way through. I do appreciate dark comedy a lot more than just regular comedy. I still think that the that the humor is really well done, but the film also has a lot of heart as well. It is, uh, the the, uh, the friendship between between Chip and Dale is really well made. Um, uh, it doesn't seem like, uh, Chip the, Chip isn't always like, uh, even though Chip is shown to not care by Rescue Rangers, uh, ever since uh or Dale ever since the uh, show was canceled and he left. Uh, but, uh, he really does care about Dale in that scene that really, uh, took, can tug at people's heartstrings, hopefully. 
if there's one thing I have to complain about, it's, well, from looks, well, something that I have to complain about are the looks of, of some animations and uh, some storylines. They don't really go anywhere. But yeah, uh, there, I, I don't really have that much to say because, well, everyone else has reviewed this movie. And I think whatever I would say would be pretty unoriginal at this point. But yeah, it's a great movie. I love it. It has great it has great animation for the most part. Uh funny and and charming and full of heart characters mo for the most part. Really great humor, a lot of heart, and uh a fine detective story. Who I mean we know who done it. But there is a twist villain and I'm not gonna say who. But I'm not gonna hint at anything, so uh yeah. It's a great movie. It's an 8 out of 10, and I would highly recommend it. It's not perfect, but it's not really uh, supposed to be perfect. It's a Chip and Dale movie. What are you so expecting from it? Though I am glad that the that Chip and Dale don't have chipmunk voices. If they did, I would be. The, I this film would probably be a 6 out of 10. As how Alvin and the Chipmunks is a 4 out of 10 terrible movie. But yeah, great movie, would recommend, love it. Oh yeah, and uh, I love how some of the original voice actors came back to do some roles like uh, Tress McNeil and the other, to do Chip and Gadget, uh, the other guy to do Dale and Zipper, and Jim Cummings to do, not Monterey Jack, but just someone else, uh, Darkwing Duck. Yeah, Jim Cummings is never in any live action roles, I think he's a... Uh, permanent voice actor. But yeah, uh, this is a great movie. 8 out of 10 would recommend. Goodbye.